Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're in the beautiful state of Idaho for 10 things that shock tourists when they come to the beautiful state of Idaho. And the first thing that shocks people when they come here is there's not potatoes everywhere. I know, I know, when you think Idaho, you think they make the tastiest, most amazing potatoes ever. They make the greatest tater tots and french fries and smashed potatoes and all the wonderful potato things that are out there. But look, you're going to be shocked. Idaho is not just potatoes. It's not the potato state. It's actually the gem state. And, and that kind of surprises people because they think, oh, it's just potatoes in Idaho. No, it's not. There's more than potatoes here in Idaho. Look, you can go fishing. You can go hiking. You can do all kinds of awesome stuff when you're here. It's not just potatoes, okay? Honestly, we've been here for a week now. I have not seen any potato farms either, but I have had some amazing potatoes, so I guess there is that. And, and that kind of leads into the second thing that shocks people when they come here is as much as the locals are like, yeah, yeah, get over the potato thing, they really go into the potato thing here. I mean, there's some really cool potato themed things. I mean, you can have an Idaho spud, which is a candy. It's marshmallow covered in chocolate with coconut sprinkle on top. Very, very nice. Or maybe you're tired of the french fries. So you want potato ice cream? No, it's not ice cream made out of potato. What it is, it's ice cream kind of formed in a potato shape, rolled in cocoa powder, and then it looks like a potato. You imagine it, you're like, oh, I get it. It's so good. If they have it at the restaurant, definitely get that. And the thing is, there's little things you'll see that are potato themed. We were driving in from Jackson. We went by a town called Driggs and they had the Spud Drive-In. And, and there's actually a potato museum here. And, and guess what? On New Year's Eve, they drop a potato. So as much as the locals like to play down the potato stuff, they definitely enjoy playing up the potato stuff. So that is kind of funny when it's here. And also definitely, definitely get some potato stuff when you are here. But Here's my third shock for you. The third thing that shocks people is this shouldn't be the gym state. This shouldn't be the, the potato state. It should be the true tasty wonderfulness that is in here in Idaho. And that is, it should be the huckleberry state. Look, you're going to be shocked how much you love huckleberries. Now I know for a lot of us, when we think of huckleberry, we think of that movie line, I'll be your huckleberry. Well, the thing is, if I could be so sweet like a huckleberry, that would be the nicest compliment ever, right? Because here they love their huckleberries. And if you're here at a time of the year, you can go pick those sweet, delicious berries. No problem. It's so awesome. But when you're here, you're going to have huckleberry in a lot of different ways. No matter what time of the year it is, you like we had bison steak last night that had a huckleberry compote on top. Uh, Liam had huckleberry ice cream the other day. I bought huckleberry syrup for my pancakes. Huckleberries are a, definitely a thing here. Like my friend who's from Idaho said, they're a gift from God. And, and truly, the huckleberry really is. And I think we really should start a petition to make this the huckleberry state, not the gem state or potato state, but the huckleberry state. And if you can't hit a restaurant or anything to grab any of these huckleberry treats, just grab a huckleberry pop when you're going through the state and you can have one while you drive through and enjoy the beautiful views here. Because that leads into the fourth shock that tourists have when they come here to Idaho is how gorgeous the state is. The natural beauty here is unbelievable. Whether you're at the Nazpur National Forest hiking through there or you're going through Hell's Canyon, you're on a float and yeah, on the Snake River or you're hiking in the mountains or you're just wandering the beauty or, or fishing on the lakes here. I mean, this state is gorgeous. You want some hot springs? Go hit the hot springs and relax and just take a load off and enjoy your time here. Oh, maybe you want to see some waterfalls. Oh, there's tons of waterfalls around here. We were just at the upper and lower Mesa Falls. Gorgeous, nice little height to go through there. I mean, there's so much beauty in this state that when you drive around, like, wow, this is really, really beautiful from the mountains. I don't know if you can see them behind me. There's some mountains over there in the mist you can see, but there's just so much natural beauty here. So rent a cabin and just enjoy nature when you're here. And if you want to get a little crazy, a little little tiny mini shack, I guess would be, is actually where they where they practice for the moon walks and stuff like that. There's craters of the moon national monument, which kind of has the moon feel. I mean, you can just walk through like I feel like I'm an astronaut. So all of you Instagrammers that want to get that like space theme stuff, there you go. You can check it out. They got something for everybody here when it comes to nature, okay? Now there are some other shocks about nature, but I'm going to talk about that later in the video. But there is one nature thing I do need to talk about before I get into the animal nature and stuff like that, and that's the fish shock. And that is how unpredictable and temperamental the weather here is in Idaho, okay? I'm not joking. Within an hour, you will go from, my God, I need the AC, to holy moly, turn on the heat. I mean, it goes all over the place. You will look and say, wait a minute, why does it say it's going to be like 
between 85 and 35 today because it will be. And it's not just like it's 35 at night and 85 during the day. No, it's like random throughout the day. So do prepare yourself for the craziness that is Idaho weather. I mean, if you're here in the summer, it can be really, really hot. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you, but if you come here in the winter, it can be really brutal as well, or it can be nice. I mean, it's just all over the place. So when you come here, make sure in your car, leave some blankets in there, have some water in case you have any issues or whatever, but definitely bring layers of clothes. Like I have this, I have a t-shirt. I got a sweatshirt behind me over there because when I left, left the house this morning, or I left our cabin this morning, I needed my winter coat. And right now I want to take this off and film just in a t-shirt because I'm already gotten to start sweating. Okay. So just be ready for the um, eclectic weather of Idaho. Now, the next shock I have for you when you come to Idaho is there's no Z in Boise. Look, it's Boise, not Boise. Okay. It's not named, the, the capital is not named after a boy band from the nineties. It's Boise with a soft S. I mean, even for me, it's hard to say it the right way, but just know in Boise, there's a lot to see. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. good. Folks, I'm here all week. No, but honestly, if you go to the capital, it is a really cool town. There's, It's really been super developed up. There's a zoo you can go see. They've got the, the Boise River uh, Greenbelt you can go hike on and walk on and enjoy bike on. There's all kinds of really great stuff to see and do when you're there. So definitely check out the capital when you're there. And I know a lot of people are like, Boise. I don't know Boise. What's that? So for those of you that watch ESPN, you watch sports and when you see college football highlights and you see that electric blue, that Smurf blue football field, that's Boise State. Okay. So Boise State University is there. Okay. So just remember, You'll be shocked. There's no Z there, and you might be shocked by their by the blue. It's it's kind of one of those what? Like I always know when I'm watching highlights on Sports Center, that thing pops up. I'm like oh, Boise State. Gotcha. <laughs> Now, the next shock I have for you, and this comes as a shock to a lot of tourists when they come here, is that you're going to be shocked that Idaho is not a flat wasteland of nothingness. Look, Idaho is very different. The north and the south are very different. And when you go through the state, you're going to see a lot of different topography when you're here, a lot of different biomes when you're here. I mean, you're going to have, yes, there's plains you can have here in the south. You've got mountains you can go to. You have forests throughout the state you can hike in. I mean, this state actually has a lot of diversity in terms of the landscapes. And I know a lot of people just think, oh, Idaho must be flat and potatoes. No, those are the two biggest things you need to get out of your mind if you're going to come visit here. It's not just potatoes and it's not just a flat place. Okay. This this is so much more. And the thing is, is it's so much more, but it's also so much bigness here. I mean, it is a huge state. So do be prepared to drive because you know what? Going four, five, six hours to go to the next town isn't unheard of. So make sure you're keeping your gas tank filled up just in case. And that kind of leads into the next shock we have for you. And that is how the gas station will become your new best friend. Also, it will become your new grocery store, local hangout, where to meet locals, where to get bait and tackle. Oh, where to get your bear spray. Yes, it's all at the local gas station. And that's the thing is when you go through Idaho, since it's such a huge state and there's such low population density, a lot of times you're not going to hit a gas station or you're not going to hit a town for a while. So it's a good idea to fill up. And when you go to the gas stations, it is much more. I mean, I went by one. It had the town hall right on it, like right next to it. So just be ready to enjoy and get to know the community when you hit up the gas station. Also, don't feel bad or don't feel weird that you might eat lunch or eat dinner at a restaurant that's attached to a gas station when you're here. It's totally normal. They'll actually have good food. It's not like weird gas station food. It's like actual restaurant with a gas station with it. Okay. So, so don't worry about that. Okay. You have some really great stuff like the trout here. Fantastic. Oh my God. So good. Anyway, the next shock I have for you is when you do come here is how safe you feel when you are in Idaho. This is a super safe state, but no matter how safe you feel, you still need to lock your doors and be careful on your walks. Why? Because of the wildlife here. Look, in Idaho, you're not worried about pickpockets. You're not worried about getting robbed. You're not worried. I mean, they'll talk about the locals not locking the doors. I actually lock the door of my car at my cabin in case a bear gets in there. Because you know what? Where we're staying, there's black bears. And the little girl that we met when we first got into our cabin, yeah, she goes out and plays with bear spray with her just in case. Okay, so you might be shocked that it's super safe in terms of the people here, but there might be some not super safe parts when it comes to the animals. So do be careful. And also when you're driving, especially on some of the roads, I mean, you have some really the hills and the mountains and the switchbacks here. It can be a little scary, a lot of dirt roads, you know, kind of stuff you want to go back and see beautiful spots. But honestly, you got to be careful with the animals in the road because you might be looking at some of the beautiful scenery here. Oh, look at those mountains. Look at those beautiful rolling hills. Oh my God, this is so beautiful here. Look at that big root beer sign. You know, you just have some fun with it. But you do need to watch out for the animals. Okay, so be safe with that. Now, the 10th thing that's going to shock you when you come here is going to shock your tummy. And that is 
steak fingers and fry sauce. Look, steak fingers, no, Idaho isn't weird and they cut people's fingers off and fry them up and eat them. No, no, no. Steak fingers, okay, so if you think of steak fingers, imagine a the beef version of a chicken finger or a chicken tender. They just cut the beet up into like, you know, little like finger-sized things, batter it, fry it, and then you eat it and you're like in Idaho heaven when you're there, it's so nice. But if you wanna make it even more nice, get the fry sauce when you are here. And, and fry sauce, if you look it up, they're like, oh, it's just ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. Yeah, but when you say it like that, it's ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together, it's not the same thing. It's like, it's pre-mixed together, so the, fuse, the flavors really fuse into this special fry sauce tastiness that's out there. And I do highly recommend you get the fry sauce. If you get fries, obviously, you want to have the fry sauce too. But even if you're having, you know what, maybe you have your, your, you know, your steak fingers, you might want to dip those in there. I mean, that's me. I love that stuff, okay? So so you'll be shocked how much you do love the, the, steak, the steak fingers and the fry sauce. Super nice. But also, like, if you, if you want to go a, bit, a little bit less meaty i mean beefy <laughs> but you could get bison when you were here and stuff like that but trout actually is the biggest thing here and here's a shocking thing a lot of the trout in the u.s you have actually comes from here in idaho and you know what i'm gonna give a bonus 11 shock when you come here to idaho and that's at night and that is the stargazing you will have when you are here in idaho i mean think about it it's a huge state lots of wilderness very little light pollution very little population, very few towns. So at night when you come out, I mean, you just look up and you see stars, you'll see the Milky Way. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, I can actually see the Milky Way, the dust of the Milky Way. It's so amazing. Sadly, my camera is not good enough to take pictures of that, so I can't show you. But honestly, it is just gorgeous at night. We're here with our kids. We're like, boys, come on, we're going outside for a bit. So, you know, look, make sure nothing's around. And we go out, we just kind of lay in the back, look up. And it's just gorgeous. You'll be shocked how beautiful it is to stay out here in Idaho. So I hope these 10 fun culture shocks get you ready for your trip to Idaho. If you haven't considered coming here, honestly, whether you're looking at some of the waterfalls around the state or, or you know, Hell's Canyon, you want to go there or, or you want to just enjoy nature, this is a fantastic place to visit. And I want to thank all of our patrons on Patreon, all of our members on YouTube, all of our friends from Idaho who, who gave us some tips and tricks about enjoying more of this beautiful state. So I wish you all the best. I'm actually going to head out and go have some huckleberry pop and and have some steak fingers with my fry sauce for lunch so i'm good to go so i hope you're good to go too if you want to watch more click subscribe we'll put out new travel videos every wednesday and saturday and i'll say bye from the very beautiful very much not just potatoes state of idaho bye